guys, welcome to today's Jasmine makeup tutorial. Foundation is already on and now it's time to brush those brows into place. I'm going to start off with filling in those brows using an angled brush. I'm going into my brow powder here and the brow gel. First I'm going to go ahead and start lining the brow on the bottom. And then I'll just go ahead and start filling in from the top. I want to create the shape of the brow before I start filling it in. I feel like that's pretty good already. My brows are already pretty thick, so it was pretty easy to just go ahead and create that shape. And I'm trying to create a little bit of a curve towards the front end of the brow because that's the way that Jasmine has hers. Brows all done. And now it's time to get that concealer on the bottom and the top just so we can carve out the brows. Make sure they're the exact shape that we want. Using an angle, I mean, I'm skilled. <laughs> Using a C-shaped brush here just to place a little bit of a creamy white shadow as a base on my eyelids and on my brow bone as well. Now using a little fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead with a transition shade here. As you can see, I'm kind of going upwards at the edge of my eye there and then really starting to brush um, towards the inner corner. So what that's doing is that's helping me create that base of a little bit of a shadow so I can have that angled eye look. Jasmine has these absolutely gorgeous tilted eyes towards the end. Uh, really kind of more of like a cat eye look so that's what i want to start here with my eyeshadow so i'm going in with just a little bit of a deeper and darker color not too different and i'm just following along with that transition shade that i have there and also bringing it onto my eyelid using an angled brush here i'm just tapping very lightly onto that color and then i'm placing it here as you can see i'm placing it where i want the shadow at first and then i can go back in and start buffing it out with a blending brush using that blending brush and just a tiny bit of shadow there and i'm beginning to blend now it's totally normal to be blending for the rest of your life with your eyeshadow <laughs> eyeshadow blending will never be completely complete but that's okay we'll do with what we can so this is of course sped up you want to spend as much time as possible just blending out there's never too long you can spend on your eyeshadow blending unless you're blending the eyeshadow away <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just gradually adding a little bit of a darker color as I see needed here. And then I'm just blending that right back into the inner corner so we can achieve that angled eye look. Going in with a darker color here, and as you can see, I'm just swirling that around in one place. I don't want to bring it too far. I just want to create that angled eye look on the ends there. using that angled eye brush, just whatever product I have still left over on that and putting it on my lower lash line, then going over the top with a little bit of a shimmer with my finger and just placing it where I want it. And I'm just kind of buffing that out with a blending brush so it's not so intense. But as you can see, just placing it right there on the eye really gives it the best effect with a shimmer. It's just my personal opinion. That's the way that I like to do it. And then just blending it out again. So now time for eyeliner. Just want to stop and make sure you know exactly where you're placing an eyeliner, especially since we're going for an angled look. This is something similar to what I did with Aurora in her look since they do have very similar eye shapes. And we're just creating a little tiny wing on the edge there and going all the way from the very beginning of the eye. Now I'm just using a brown pencil here. This is actually my eyebrow pencil, which I don't use too often, but I'm just starting from the very bottom of the eye, and then I'm working a little bit into the waterline as well. I don't want to use a black because I don't want to do anything too harsh. Of course, if you want to go for that look, you're welcome to do so, 
but I'm also dragging that little color there at the very ends of my eye and the inner corner and just dragging it out a little bit. As you can see, that's giving me a really pretty Arabian-esque look. And now I'm just going in with a little bit of a lighter shadow just to mask some of that blended sh shade, I guess, towards the um, portion of my inner eye there. And I really just want, I'm just creating that perfect eye shape. That's really what I'm doing here. Time for some mascara. So this is a pretty easy step, of course. Everybody puts on their mascara the same way. So that's all I'm doing here. The reason why I didn't want to go too much um, harder, I guess, on the shadows or on the pencil and the bottom lash line is that right there because I knew once I put on my mascara on the bottom lower lash line that it would actually darken it for me. Okay, now time for the contour. So I'm just going in with a little brush here into my nice cool tone shade and I'm beginning right here just a little bit above the ear and I'm not going too too far with that towards my face. I'm really just focusing on blending what I've got, where I've got it, into perfection. You don't want to go too far, otherwise it's going to look a little unnatural. And as you can see here, I actually went in with a lighter shade just to kind of buff it out so it's not nearly as harsh. Once you feel like you've got that all good and in place and looking great, just keep on blending out here just to make sure it's looking nice. I'm going over top with the shade on my forehead and I'm bringing some down on the jawline as well just to connect everything. Also get rid of that little bit of a turkey gobble gobble there. <laughs> turkey gobble gobble. <laughs> Just using this random brush here it doesn't really matter on the type um, just to blend out what I've got here on the bottom I don't want it to look too harsh and unnatural so that's all I'm doing is buffing it out time for a little bit of a nose contour I don't want to do anything too crazy since she does have a wonderful nose um, and so do I so I'm not going with anything too crazy but I do want a little bit of a color on my nose just so it blends in well with the rest of my face since I have contoured going in with the bronzer. This is why I didn't go any harsher with the contour anyways, but we're just going to put this over top since she does have a darker skin tone. Of course, that's not what I'm trying to achieve here, um, but I do just want something a little bit more bronzed and sun-kissed. Now time for the blush. Going in with a big old fat fluffy brush and just putting that over tops of my cheeks. And of course you want to bring all of your powders down to wherever your neckline may be. <laughs> and I'm just getting a little bit of loose powder here and I'm just semi-baking on the bottom of my contour. As you can see, I'm immediately brushing it away. I'm not doing anything crazy with the bake today. I just want to a small type of effect there but the one that I do I really am enjoying lately is bringing that on the sides of the nose and I feel like that really snatches the nose up a lot more than usual um, as opposed to just putting on the color of the contour and then just blending it and that being it this is actually a really awesome effect now I'm going in with a little highlighter And this is the part of the video where I realized that I forgot to press record when I did all of my lips. But basically all that I did, as I'm showing you here, is I just got my angled brush and I went in with a flesh colored tone there and just lined my lips. You can use a lip liner as well. And then I went over top here with a berry shade and then a little bit of this hot pink shade as well. Just kind of mix them together. That's the colors that they have in the parks.
And as you can see, I'm just dabbing this on. I'm not going on completely with it because I don't want the color to be too intense or take away from the berry shade that I applied previously. Now I'm going here with this little shade. As you can see, it's just a little sparkly shade. And I'm just going to put that over top. That's just going to mattify the color that I have on my lips. And it's also going to give me a little bit of a shimmer and a shine. That's going to make my lips look a lot bigger than they actually are. Alright, time for the last effect, and that is our setting spray. Put that all over your face to make your makeup last all day. And now for Jasmine's hair, I just thought it would be cute to have just a really nice, just a very loose ponytail, that's the way. Um, but she does have a part in the middle of her head, and so I did want to at least get that. So all I'm doing here is really just bringing some of the hair down, and then just twisting it up into a ponytail in the back. Look at a little crazy here, and that's okay. It's just going to take a second to get that the way that you really want it. Once I've got my hair up, I'm just going to pull a little bit of that down. And I'll go in with some gold earrings, and that will be it for the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.